Okay. Thank you so much, Rajan sir. And I can see in the chat section, many, many students are saying that they love mathematics. Hi, Avyan. I can see you. Wave, wave, wave. So hi, everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you from the Olympiad Success family. I'm Aarti and I will be your host for today. So all the students who have not turned on their videos, please, please, please let us see your beautiful smiling faces, right? And everyone give me a smile. Everyone. Who is not giving me a smile? Otherwise, I will not start the session. Okay, thank you so much for your cute smiles. So students, uh, today there is a demo and interaction program for grade four students and this is for mathematics. And uh, we will be starting, like the flow of this session would be, first of all, there would be an introduction by your mentor, Niti ma'am. Then Rajan sir will be taking you through a presentation. After that, uh, I will be taking you through the tour of the platform. Post that, we will be having a question and answer round, okay? So be prepared with your questions. In case if you don't have any, we would be happy to ask you many questions, okay? So then you prepare, you be prepared with the answers, right? And after the question and answer session, we will be starting with the demo session for which you all are here. Avyan, I can see you raising your hand. Can you please write down your query in the chat section so that we can answer your query, okay? And uh, like the demo session today, it will be for 30 to 40 minutes because it is a demo session, but our regular live classes will be of 75 minutes, right? All right up here there. I hope you are enjoying there in your grandmom's house, okay? And uh, kids, like I would like to give you a brief about Olympiad Success. I know many of you are new over here. So Olympiad Success, it's uh, India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad examinations. And, uh, you know, at Olympiad Success and especially in these live classes, our aim, our motto, or our mission is to uh, make your concepts clear like building up a strong foundation of yours because these are your building years and uh, we know that you would be appearing for many competitive examinations later on. So we would make sure uh, like with the help of these classes that you are uh, uh, able to make your uh, foundation really strong and uh, you know you are uh, conceptually very strong then, right? So because it is all about concepts, right? It is not about, you know, uh, writing the direct answers uh, or attending the direct questions right you should know you should know how to apply everything which you are learning correct so kids this is about olympiad success and rajan sir would be certainly taking you through more details during his presentation and uh, now i would like to uh, call upon niti ma'am so niti ma'am has been uh, with olympiad success platform for quite a while now and uh, she is a wonderful mentor and uh, she would make sure that uh, none of you are, you know, left with any of your queries. So she loves to teach kids and uh, the remaining intro part, I would request Niti ma'am to take over and give a brief introduction about herself. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Aarti ma'am. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Can you show me your thumbs ups if you have, if you are listening? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, fine. My name is Niti. I will be your mentor, your teacher, your facilitator for today's session and for the upcoming sessions. All right. So I have been teaching your mathematics since last uh, 11 years. Okay. And I have been working with several publication houses. I'm a school teacher. I'm doing creating content for mathematics. I am doing a lot of work on mathematics and I love kids and I love teaching also. And uh, I have been preparing storyboards also. So you don't worry. I'll make a mathematics interesting for you. You will love it. I'll clear your concepts. All right. So I hope you will love the session. Right. Is everyone excited? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, Niti ma'am. It's a pleasure to have you on the platform. And now Rajan sir will be taking you through a short presentation. So what do you Rajan sir? Yeah, sure ma'am. So students, welcome to the demo of class fourth mathematics. Let me tell you about us about Olympiad Success. So Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exam. 
uh, we have Olympiad live classes and this is our third year in live classes. We also have school plus program students. So in school plus program, we offer eight courses that are mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication, communication, spoken and written both, Vedic maths as well as coding. What else? We also offer online CBSC plus Olympiad classes for grade six to 10 and one on one probation classes for international mathematics Olympiad like SESMO, CMO, HKIMO, TIMO, Math Count, US Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO, and also JME Information classes. These are the rank holder for session 21 22. So many students in Olympiad success got international rank one. Now about this course student, there will be around 20 students in the class and we will conduct all the classes on Zoom platform only. So there will be two sessions per week. The days will be Saturday and Sunday and timing is 6.30 to 7.45 p.m. So the class duration will be 75 minutes and there will be a break of five minutes in between. The session include mix of theory, practice question, doubt session, and we will also discuss previous year paper. Students will get reading material and practice question, which are available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. And students will be, with this course, you will get free access to the uh, mathematics and reasoning, logical, uh, logical reasoning mock test, okay, that are also available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. Now the syllabus link I will share in the chat box. The fees for this course is 8,500 and there will be 40 session in this course. Okay. The payment I will payment link I will share in the chat box. The fee include online classes, daily reading notes, exercise, practice of previous year paper. And like I said, you will get the access to the mathemat mathematics and logical reasoning mock test worksheet that is available on the dashboard of Olympia Success. Now to join this course, what you need, you need laptop with good internet speed and headphone. And students, as you know, like preparation for Olympiad exam is tougher than regular school curriculum because there will be some topics from your upper grade also. So students will be required to spend approximately two hours every day to cope up with the curriculum and parent support will be needed to check answers and recreate concepts. Now the live classes for this course will start from 11th June students. So currently we're having students from 3800 school and we are catering uh, like in 35 plus countries. Uh, this is about this course. Now, our team will give you a tour to the Olympiad Success Dashboard. And after that, if you have any doubt, any query related to the course, you can write in the chat box. So over to you, our team. Yeah, thank you so much, Rajan sir, for a brief introduction about the course. So I can see uh, Tanya's mom over here. So ma'am, uh, I believe your child is in grade three, right? You are asking about grade three for class three, I have seen. So, uh, ma'am, this is for grade four, uh, the demo and interaction program. What I would request you is just go to this uh, link, all batch details link, which is uh, www.olympiadsuccess.com slash live slash batch fee. It is there in the chat section. I request you to just click that and on that page, you can find the details of grade three, like what all subjects we have for grade three and um, about the income, uh, like upcoming and ongoing batches, right? All right, so let me share the screen for uh, quickly taking you through the platform. All right, so uh, kids, like once you enroll to this program, you would be getting your credentials to uh, access the platform for uh, the content, that is the reading material practice question answer keys, as well as topic wise worksheets. So what you need to do is enter your credentials on this login, which is login page, which is olympiadsuccess.com slash login, enter your email and password and click on the sign in button. Once you click on the sign in button, you would be redirected to the profile page. Make sure you complete your profile. Otherwise, you won't be able to click on other tabs on your dashboard. So first thing I will be taking you to the live classes. So if you click on live classes here, you see like what all subjects are coming. So under the subjects list, a list I can see that uh, all the subjects are mentioned because I've subscribed to all these subjects. So since this is Mathematics Olympiad and if you have enrolled for mathematics, this only subject would be coming for you. Once you click on that and here you can see the topics uh, coming for this particular subject. So let us say if I select number system. So everything related to number system would be displayed over here. The reading material practice questions and answer keys. So if I click on reading material. So uh, the reading material related to number system would be given here. Okay, so you can go through it and uh, the corresponding practice questions would be given to you for your practice. You can practice it from here. So all the questions would be available to you. 
what you need to do is like uh, after you are done with the practice questions, we request you to check your answers if the answer keys provided, right? So we know you would be doing everything correct, but then it is necessary to compare the answers. So you just match your answers with the answer keys given over here, okay? After that, uh, we have the schedule, okay? So if you click on the schedule button, you would be seeing the complete schedule of these classes, right? So what would be happening in session one, session two, and so on and so forth, okay? So we have structured it really nicely. And uh, if you see like uh, after every topic, after every topic or two, we would be having a test, okay? So to make sure that you are, you know, like in line with what your mentor is teaching you. So here the complete, like the complete syllabus of grade four is divided into various topics and uh, it is mapped against each of these sessions, right? So if I go at the bottom, so if you see here, so there are total 40 sessions for this uh, course. So uh, like till 36 sessions, you would be having your course complete, right? And the remaining four sessions would be for your doubt classes. Basically, these are known as super classes in which we would be taking up your doubts and solving of previous year papers. And, you know, like there would be lots and lots of practice. So we would make sure that uh, you are, you know, like fundamentally strong with what all has been taught during the entire course, right? Now uh, there is this holiday calendar. So if you click that, the list of dates would be coming. And on these dates, we would not be conducting the classes, right? So this, these are holidays for you. And finally, we have the Zoom meeting ID and password. So here your meeting ID and password would be displayed for you to join the live classes. Now the next important thing is worksheets, okay? So these are the topic-wise worksheets which we would be providing you. So as Rajan sir had mentioned, we would be giving you free access to math and logical reasoning. So kids, you should understand that these are uh, like we on Olympiad Success Platform, these are our uh, uh, topic-wise worksheets, which we do sell to the students at rupees 990 each, uh, each package, right? So, but then if you enroll for these classes, we would be giving uh, them free of cost to you. So here, if you see, as you see here, uh, these are topic-wise worksheets, okay? So for computation operations in itself, there are around 10, uh, 11 and 12, 12 uh, worksheets for you to practice for. And uh, each worksheet con consists of 25 questions. So let us say if I click on fractions and uh, what happens next is uh, there comes an instruction page, right? So these worksheets are available in the form of examination. So what you have to do is you have to click on the start worksheet button and once you click on the start worksheet button, your examination will be started. You have to read the question, attempt, and click on the next button, okay? So in this manner, you have to do the entire examination, okay? So I am right now randomly marking the questions, but you have to go through the question and mark the answers. Next is like here on the left, right panel, you can see the total number of questions and the legend as well. Once you are done with the examination, you have to click on the finish button and it would say yes, submit. As soon as you submit, the answer key will be displayed. So on the answer key, you can see the questions and uh, the correct answer and what you had answered. Right, so complete answer key would be given. And then finally, like in case if you log out and log in again, and if you would want to revisit your answer keys, what you have to do is just click on the performance tab, click on the subject for which you would want to see and click on the, like the topic which you had appeared. So let's say if I click on computation operation. So first the summary would be given. And then once I click on the review button, the answer key page will open up, okay? So this is about the platform. And now I'll just stop my screen share. And if we have un any doubts, we can take up. Tanya Garwal is seeing a new view, ma'am. Uh, you can write in the chat box if you have any doubt, okay? Ma'am, I cannot do this thing because I am on phone. Okay, you don't need to do. Uh, we are just sharing with you like uh, what where you can find the content. Right. So next question is Purvesh is asking, which is this link? Can you please reshare as I join now? 
So I'm not sure which link you're talking about, but then this is uh, like once you enroll to this course, you would be getting your credentials to log into Olympiad Success platform, right? Is there any scholarship available? Devanshi, uh, I'm so sorry. There are no scholarships available. Uh, the payment should be made in one go only. Okay, Nishka is saying me, I've used this because I did the English class. Okay, Nishka, thank you so much for informing. Ma'am, how to go on Olympiad success? So, um, like, you have to click on the link. Okay, just click on the syllabus link itself. So, you would be uh, going to the Olympiad success website. And uh, there at the top, there is my account button. If you click on that, you will be redirected to the login page. And uh, uh, there you need to enter your credentials and uh, then you can access the platform. But for that, you need to, you know, enroll to this course. Yes, Ryan, I hope uh, I have answered your query as well. So how to log in. So you need to have credentials for it. And you would be great getting your credentials once you enroll for this program. Okay, so many questions are coming in. Which link, which link? So I'll do one thing. I'll just share the login link with you. Okay. And uh, you can use this link to log into the platform in, if you have, you know, already registered with us. This is the link. I am friendly staying outside from India in Kuwait. Can I at last? Absolutely, Pranvi. So we have, uh, like in our batches, many students from Middle East and other countries as well. So if the time suits you, you can certainly join these classes. So these classes would be conducted entirely in English. And uh, uh, yes, so if time suits you, you can certainly enroll for these classes. Okay. So any other doubt, any other questions, students? Ma'am, reasoning to be enrolled separately. Yes, Shitej. So mathematics and reasoning are completely different subjects. So I understand that uh, many of you would be aware about SOF examinations, which conducts uh, like examinations like math, English, but and in that 10, around 10 to 15% of the questions are reasoning based. But we do believe that reasoning in itself, it's a different subject, right? And it should be covered separately rather than uh, considering it as a part of mathematics or science, right? So these are uh, different subjects and you have to enroll for them separately. Can by any chance timing uh, of the course can be changed? I'm so sorry, Jian. So this is our third batch for uh, grade four mathematics. And uh, like upon taking requests of the students, we start the batch uh, with, uh, at the time which suits most of the students. So what you can do is you can drop in your time request on the phone number, our registered phone number, which is 956076447. And uh, you can sh share your request with the concerned person over there. and. Uh, they would be helping you ahead, but the timing for this course will not be changed. If we enroll for two classes, then four classes in a week. So I believe you are saying if you enroll for two courses, then four classes in a week. So it depends upon the course you are enrolling because for a few courses, we have thrice a, class, uh, thrice a week classes and for a few courses, we have twice a week classes, okay? Saturday timings are okay, but Sunday times. <laughs> okay. All right, Jian. So uh, for this current batch, I'm so sorry. We won't be able to take that, uh, you know, change the time. But uh, as suggested earlier, please drop a WhatsApp on the registered mobile number and uh, we would be happy to help for further batches. Okay. What about listening? How many classes for the same? What about reasoning? So reasoning classes, uh, Rajan sir, if you can share the batch yes. fee link, 
So Rajan sir is sharing one link in the chat section. If you go to that that link and if you click on your grade, that is class four. Under that class four, you can check for the reasoning uh, subject. So there we would have mentioned the upcoming and ongoing batches for logical reasoning and how many sessions would be there in that. Okay, and you can even check the syllabus also there. I shared the link. You can check there. Maybe uh, students are confusing with the logical reasoning worksheet that I have mentioned. So students, uh, with this course, you will get the access to the worksheets of logical reasoning. But uh, logical reasoning classes uh, are different. That is a different course. Okay, Jian. Um, what... Yes. Jian is saying uh, already reasoning classes going on Saturday and Sunday. Yes, Jian. There may be a possibility that the timings would be uh, you know colliding, but. Uh... I'm so sorry, like the timings for this batch cannot be changed. We would uh, like the next batch when we announce, we would uh, make sure that uh, it uh, caters to your time requirements, right? Remember to write in the email and password. Uh, that we will share with you, like uh, we will share the credential with you when you register for the course. Okay, Ria? Ma'am, when will we start our mathematics class? Yes, we are going to begin soon. Okay, will there be one more batch? Yes, Jian, we certainly hope so. So as we have announced the third batch today, so we would be announcing the fourth batch also soon. I cannot commit on the date, but yes, uh, there would be a fourth batch coming in. How many months this course is and how it is useful to non-Indian schools? Okay, so the first question, who would like to answer? I would like to get an answer from the students. Avyan raise his hand. You can type in the chat box, Avyan. Forty. So we are asking how many months? Anyone? Two months. Come on, quickly, quickly, so that we can start with the demo session. Duty says five months. So Rajan sir, have we get the, are we getting any correct answers? Six months, one and a half. Yes, one I think duty is correct. Five, five months, months is correct. Right. Yes. Uh, we we also get one more question. Then there are limited number of uh, students per batch, approximately. So it is sure that after making the payment, I will get in the same batch. I can yes. attend on this Saturday Sunday. Yes, Shorya, you like once you make the payment for this batch, you would be enrolled for this batch only. Yeah. And uh, I would be continuing with Pranvi's uh, question. Like, how many months this course is? I hope, Pranvi, you have got an answer for that and how it is useful to non Indian schools. So, uh, Pranvi, like, uh, which board are you studying in? Is it uh, CBSC, ICSC, or can you just let me know? Because our course, it's a combination of CBSC plus ICSC courses, uh, syllabus. And we would make sure that, uh, you know, like uh, the concepts and everything are clear. And uh, yeah, so you can check the syllabus and, you know, if it maps your uh, board's curriculum as well. So it would be helpful for you. And apart from that, like, uh, as I had mentioned earlier also, so these classes, are helpful for you to you know strengthen your concepts and uh, ultimately like uh, it would be helping you with your future competitive examinations yes pranvi so it is perfectly suitable for you cbsc mine ib i am joining for olympiad so all right, so that is suitable. So uh, Olympiad success classes, these caters to uh, all the major Olympiad examinations conducted across the country, like SOF, Crest Olympiads, Unified Council, Silver Zone, etc. Okay. And Avyan, it would be nice if you can type in your question, Bita, please. All right, please. Thank you. So meanwhile, Avyan is typing in his question. Any any uh, other questions coming up?
all right shorya i am sending your message right away to the concerned team and uh let's see okay whatsapp number please so rajin sir can you play, paste the whatsapp number if it is handy yes sure ma'am otherwise the number is 9560764447 and rajin sir is pasting the number in the chat section uh, you all please copy hello ma'am uh, absolutely so if you are looking uh, to enroll for four courses there would be certainly discounts available for you uh, what i would suggest again in this case is just speak to our customer care uh, executive on the number provided by rajan sir and the person over there would be able to help you with the discounts Abhyan, are you writing? Thank you, ma'am. So, any further questions coming up, <clears throat> or should we start? How many of you are getting bored? Okay, Ryan is raising his hand. He's getting bored. And who else? Anish is also. So then, should we start with the demo session? Yes. So now many students are raising their hands. <laughs> All right. So kids, uh, any any further questions? We would make. We want. We would want to make sure that uh, like none of your queries are left answered. In case if they are, I request you to you know drop a message on our WhatsApp number, and we would be happy to solve all your queries. But right now, any query coming in, you can please write it down. And uh, Rajan sir, then we can start with the demo session as well. Yes, sure, ma'am. We can start. So over to you, Niti, ma'am. I think we we can begin with the demo. All right. So hello, kids. Are you all ready? You can keep your pencils and your notebooks ready with you if you want to write something. Otherwise, you can listen to me and you can see the questions. Okay. So let us begin. All right. So yes, Anish has given me the thumbs up. Okay, Anish, thank you. So now I am beginning. So today I am taking the topic calendar. Okay, everyone is aware what is calendar? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So basically, just a minute. Yes. So have you heard about time? Have you heard about time? Yes. Time is measured in clock, right? You must have known clock. so time is measured in clock and then in clock we use second minutes hour right and in calendar this is another medium to measure the time and in this we measure time in days weeks years right have you seen calendar on your on your laptops on your uh, tables right have you seen can i see thumbs ups i want to make this class interactive so i need little thumbs up smiles okay all right so you can see that this is the format of a calendar first you write months then you write the days okay from sunday to saturday and your classes are on saturday and sunday so you are not you are now busy with me during weekends right okay so let's see this okay can you see this side this side can you see the days of the week yes so days of the weeks are starting from monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday so saturday and sunday are known as weekends these are two in numbers and then we have five weekdays you can see that these are five weekdays from monday to friday all right now you will uh, now i'll try to integrate this time with your signs also do you know earth 
have you seen earth in the in your ssst books right anish have you seen okay navneet uh, navneet have you seen great even nimat have seen nimat have shown nimat is uh, shaking his uh, her head right so yes now what is this earth earth is rotating everybody know that earth is rotating on its axis so now when earth is rotating on its axis it is taking rounds right so one day is the standard unit of time which we use so a day is the time that earth takes one rotation right a uh, one one uh, earth completes its rotation in one day and in one day how many hours are there who will tell me you can show me your fingers 2 and 4 or you can write it in the chat box whatever is convenient to you okay yes pran we want to write okay yes yes very good i can see a lot of chats coming very nice yes 24 hours and i have already told you there are seven days in a week so one week consists of seven days okay and if somebody ask you what is the first day of the week what is the first day of the week is yes, of course you will write monday nobody will write sunday yes monday is the first day of the week okay and if i ask you what are the weekends like we will be having our classes on weekends so what are the weekends name two weekends quickly 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 you can write it in the chat box you can write the short forms yes very good biswadeep saturday and sunday are the weekends so children this cycle keep on repeating this is the cycle okay let's keep on repeating after sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday then again it's repeat very good okay pranavi whatever you want to ask you can write it in the chat box if you're raising your hand okay you have to write it in the chat box i will be answering your queries after reading the chat box only all right right got it okay now we will be talking about months and days everybody know that they are there are 12 months in a year or there are 13 months how many months in a year quickly very good biswadeep is very fast okay navneet ruti very nice so there are 12 months in a year very good and in one month there are four weeks but it can extend to sometime five weeks okay there can be four to five weeks in in one month's time so this we have already discussed one week has seven days so now if i ask you how many days are in two weeks so definitely 7 plus 7 and this is a repeated addition and you know that repeated addition is multiplication so we are multiplying 2 times 7 and we get 14 days similarly if there are three weeks that means we are adding 7 plus 7 plus 7 there are 21 days right and if we talk about four weeks then there are 28 days 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 7 times 4 so this is sorry 4 times 7 and that is 28 days right 28 days in four weeks but in a month you know how many days are there 30 or 31 most of the time 30 and 31 only there is one month which has 28 days can you name that month in the chat box you can write the full short form also february very nice smart kids lovely okay you can see that all the months are written here you can quickly take a look and read it in your minds january february march april may june july august september so how many of you remember the months with the name of with your birthdays right with your parents anniversaries you remember this month okay january is about to come that means it's my birthday is about to come or my parents anniversary is there or my grandparents birthday is there right so calendar is very very important in your life your daily festivals your important moments are connected to calendar only right okay so here comes the very interesting table now here you will see that there are so many months no children say wow months of the year has already written here january february march april may june july august september october november and the last month is december now the number of days in each month can you see the number of days written here now it's very difficult to remember now which month has 30 which month has 31 so i'll tell you a very very easy way so everybody can pin me and can you see my fist here can you see my fist so is everyone is ready with the fist so everyone know the fist method right so on this fist you can see that there are certain mountains and then we have certain valleys right can you see this valleys and these are mountains right so the mountains the upper part 
the upper part has 31 days and the bottom part which are valleys these have 30 days so we will move accordingly like this okay so this is my fist you can you can also show your fist in the camera and let's start counting all the months so we will start from the first mountain and we will name it as january so january february in the middle then march april may june july okay july it ends then again i'll start my cycle from the first august september october november december i end here so all the months which are coming on the top of these mountains they they have 30 one days. So now is it easy for you to remember? And can you tell me now while counting we have seen that there are two months which are coming just one after another. Now this is a very interesting fact. You will love to know it. Only two months are there which are coming one after another and they are having same number of days. That is 31. Can you tell me the name of the months in the chat box? Okay, I know this trick. Yes, yes, yes. July and August, absolutely correct. Wonderful answer. Lovely. Yes, July and August are the months which are coming one after another. And they are the only months which share the same number of days. Lovely. Very good. But nobody has said December and January. Hmm. Anybody can give me a reason why December and January, they also share the same number of days. Any Anyone who can give me a valid answer? Why we not consider December and January, but they too also have 31 days? Anyone can write it in the chat? Yes, very good. Shitich, yes, because the year will change. Because December belongs to the previous year and January will come to the next year. Very good. Very good, children. Lovely. So now you can see that only February is having 28 and 29 days. Okay, 28 and 29 days. 29 days comes in the leap year. Okay, that I'll explain you in the next slide. What is a leap year? Now, what you can do if you will take that, this is not a leap year. So add all the number of days. So when you will add all the number of days, you will see that there are seven months which have 31 days. This seven means seven months. Okay, and four months have 30 days and only one month is having 28 days. So when you will count these uh, days, you will get 365 days. So in one year, you have 365 days. But if it is a leap year, then this 29 will become 28 will become 29. And this will become 366 days. So is this clear? Is this concept clear to everyone? Okay, Rian is raising hand. Rian, you want to ask something in the, you can write it in the chat box. Okay, Rian, you are answering. Okay, fine. 366 days. Perfectly fine. Okay, now let us quickly read these statements because visuals always keep your memory fresh. Okay, so now quickly. 365 days are in a year. You know this. Okay, now you will, you, I'll be, I have already told you that we'll be talking about leap years. So now leap year comes after every four year. It's not that leap year is coming after every year. No, it is coming after four years. There will be one extra day which is coming, right? So this one extra day will make the fourth year as a leap year and my days will become 366 days, okay? So every fourth year, we will call that year as a leap year. And that one day is adjusted in the month of February and the February days will become from 28 to 29. So now these are some examples of the leap year. 2000 was a leap year. Then after four years, 2004, then 2008, then 2012, then 2016. Similarly, we can add four, four years. And then we can see that we have what? What? How many leap years are coming? Now is 2022 a leap year? Anybody can tell me yes or no in the chat box. The year that we are living, uh, that we are uh, studying in this. No, yes. Now, how you have calculated that, I'll also tell you. That how you will get to know whether, a, it, whether the current year is a leap year or whether the previous year is a leap year or not. So now, how to find whether it is leap year or not? We will see that if it is divisible by 4. 
first point always check whether the number is divisible by yes yes avyan 2020 was a leap year yes you are absolutely correct now 2024 is a leap year now very good you have given me you were you have given my answer only so 2020 was the leap year yes in which the pandemic has started everybody know this year nobody will forget and then 2024 the next the next coming leap year will be 2020 4. So, if the year is completely, if the number is completely divisible by 4, that means that year is a leap year or the year ends in 100. If a leap year is ending in 100, it will not be a leap year. If it is divisible by 400, this is the second condition you will consider. 2028 is a leap year, right? I know now you can add 4 years every time and you will get your years, right? So, now 1976 was a leap year. Because it was completely divisible. It is completely divisible by 4. And then 2000 is again a leap year. Right? Is it clear to everyone? All right. Now we will talk about the number of weeks. Now see. To find the number of weeks in a leap year. 365 divide 365 by 7. So, you can see that on dividing 365 by 7, we are getting 52 weeks and one extra day. Can you see that? 52 weeks and one extra day. So, that means if somebody asks you that how many weeks are in a year, you can say that 52 weeks. But if somebody asks you the accurate answer, you can write 52 weeks and one day. Okay. Now, this is a quick review what we have done. So, you can quickly take a review. Seven days. Is it makes one week, 365 days makes one year, 52 about. Why we have written about? Because there is one extra day. Okay, so we have written about. We have not given the exact number of weeks. So 52 weeks will make one year. Then one leap year consists of 366 days. One year has 12 months. Four weeks about. Again, about, you know that there, are few, there will be few extra days. So about four weeks will give one month. Then, yes, this is, how many of you know this about decade? Anybody? Everybody know about the decade? Decade means when 10 years, a complete bunch of 10 years will be called as decade. Okay? And 100 years make one century. Everybody knows century because I know you love cricket. In cricket, every player, when player makes century, you know that completing their 100 runs. Very good. Yes, Avyan, you can now stop writing the leap years. I got to know that you have understood. So, yes, now focus here. All right. And what is millennium? Millennium is a big word. So, 1000 years make one millennium. Wow. Isn't it great? Dwiti, have you learned these three terms before? Century, millennium and decade. My God. So, if somebody is asking you that what is one millennium, now you can easily answer one millennium is equal to 1000 years. Right? So, and now I think this is new concept. Now, what is the 20th century? Now, the, the number of years, this is called the 20th century from 1900 to 1999. This complete 100. Yes, yes, very good. Then what about 10,000 years? You tell me what about 10,000 years? Okay, the years from 2000 to 2099 is the 21st century. So you people belongs to 21st century and I belong to 20th century. Right? So when I was born, it was 20th century and when you have born, it is 21st century. Okay. So this is a question for you. Now you can take out your books and notebooks. Uh, oh, sorry, books, notebooks. No, any notebook, you can keep it with you and you can take out your pen and pencil and you can solve it and then we will discuss the answer. So, if 12th April 2007 was Thursday, okay, so I can give you this calendar also. So, what was the day on 30th April, same month, same year, you just have to find the day. Oh, sorry. Okay, now see the calendar here, everyone. Can you see the calendar and where is the 12th April? 12th April is lying on Thursday. So, just by reading the calendar, you can write it in the chat box. My God, everybody know how to read it. Lovely, lovely. Good response and very quick responses. That means you are listening to me. Very good. So, 30th April is 
monday very nice children good and can you count all sundays here how many sundays are there in april quickly quickly let's let's give a count is it four or five yes oh four no 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 four yes five is the correct answer very good and how many saturdays are there how many saturdays four lovely so there is one extra sunday in this in this month in 2007 okay now let's take a look at this question now anushka's grandmother went to usa for a vacation on 4th june 2010 she came back on 26th august 2010 how long was her vacation okay first you want to try or should i explain you the answer okay i'm giving you one minutes time just look at the question and then i'll explain you the answer also anushka's grandmother went to usa anushka is not going her grandmother is going for vacation okay from 4th june 2010 and she was there in the usa and she came back on 26th august same year so how long was her vacation means how many days she spent in usa yes yes anish yes you want to try absolutely correct everybody can try it you can write your answers and then i'll discuss the answers okay 2 months 22 days okay bishwadeep has written jian has written now let us see whether their answers are correct or not okay children now see how we will find it out now you will see that days in the month of june just a minute okay days in the month of june so now she has gone on 4th of june right so we will include 4th june as a vacation also right so june has now on entire month of june she was on vacation so we will subtract ach first of all tell me how many days are in the month of june is it 30 or 31 who will tell me quick 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 yes very good 30 lovely so 30 days are in the month of june but out of 30 days only 3 days she was in india or whatever country from 4th she has started a vacation so we will just subtract 3 and we will get 27 days so entire month of june for 27 days she was on vacations then entire july 31 days she was again on vacation she was in us and then till 25 because on 26th she was she has returned so we will not include 26 we will only take 25 days for the month of august when she was on vacation to usa and that means we will count all these days now 27 31 and 25 we will count these three and we will find out that her um, vacation is 83 days long right so now did you get that avyan biswadeep can i have your thumbs ups okay pranavi thank you so much thank you okay now here comes the next question okay how many hours are there in a week how many hours are there in a week be quick be quick be quick do you know how to do this b okay somebody is saying a jian is saying b b b b b b everybody is saying b b b b okay navneet has given me the answer also 168 because 24 multiply 7 okay so you know that in one day we have how many hours 24 hours right and one week has 7 days so 7 days have very good lovely yes b is the correct answer lovely those who have got b you can pat your backs absolutely correct okay now here comes the next question how are 22 uh, day to be written in a week 22 days can be written in weeks anybody who wants to give it a try okay some uh, d d d part okay 7 1 by 3 then anisha has written 3 1 day 3 weeks and 1 day then d 7 okay b somebody saying b some are saying d 
some are saying b some are saying d okay all right so let us see what is the correct answer aditi is trying to explain three weeks one day okay see children one week you know that has seven days right so if i count 21 days 21 days means three weeks seven will be added three times so it's three weeks and last one day means 1 upon 7 why 1 upon 7 because 7 is the total number of days and 1 we are talking about the one day so this is the correct answer not this okay 3 weeks 1 by 7 very good okay now if the independence day in 1994 was on monday okay then on which of the following dates will be sunday if the independence day in 1994 you know when is the independence day it's on 15th august so on 15th august in 1994 it was monday so now on which of the following dates will be sunday just calculate how for uh, on which day it will be sunday see after every 7 days the same day will be repeated so when you will add 7 you will get 22 august and on 22 august again there will be monday okay then you will add again 7 then it is 29 august then on 29 august again it's a monday so now when you will add again now here seven days so now which day will come first of all tell me august is how many days in august how we have how many days Who will tell me in August how many days? Yes, thirty-one. Very good. So if we will add two days here, the August will end. Yes, the August will end here. And what will be on thirty-first August? If twenty-nine is the Monday, just write it in the chat box. If twenty-nine is Monday, what will be thirty-first August? Wednesday. Okay. So now we have got that thirty-first August is the Wednesday. So now let us see plus let's see plus five and sorry. Now when we will add now fifth September on fifth September it's again Monday. Now we will add seven to it. We will get twelfth September as Monday. So now see Sunday is coming where they are asking whether tenth September is a Sunday. No, eleventh September is a Sunday, right? So we cannot take that. Now nineteenth September is a Monday. So here's eighteen is an answer here. So eighteen September must be Sunday because nineteen is Monday. So eighteen is Sunday. Very good. So eighteen September nineteen ninety four will be Sunday in nineteen ninety was Sunday in nineteen ninety four. Okay. Now if fourteenth February nineteen eighty four was Tuesday, what was the day on thirteenth February nineteen Eighty-five. The next year, next year, children. The simple trick of for coming next year is you will just add one extra one. Yes, next day. If fourteenth February is Tuesday, then fourteen thirteenth February will be. See, if you are talking about fourteenth February next year, it will be Wednesday. But they are asking you the thirteenth February. What will be thirteenth February next year? same same it will be tuesday only it will be tuesday only right okay now let's take this question anyone okay very good very nice what is the period of time in hours and minutes from a quarter past 9 in the morning everybody know how to read a clock time everybody know this so quarter past 9 means 9 Fifteen a.m. in the morning because it's morning, so I have written a.m. So everybody know this time. Quarter past means nine fifteen a.m. Okay, now the question is asking you. Yes, you can write your answers. No need to raise your hand, Avyan. You can always type your answer in the chat box. Okay, you have written it. Okay, all right. So what is the period of time in hours and minutes 
from this time so this is my starting time okay this is my starting time given to me and the finishing time can anybody write this finishing time in the digital clock half past 2 what is half past 2 i want to see in the chat box what is half past 2 very good 230 pm because it's afternoon so i'm writing pm okay now quickly find out the time quickly find out the time duration with these these two anybody who knows it to how to find it so first we will create slabs yes first we will create slabs so from 915 to let's say 10 o'clock okay we have 45 minutes right and then from 10 am to let's say 2 pm how many hours will be there quickly quickly from 10 am to 2 pm very good it's 4 hours lovely okay and then 2 pm to 2:30 2 pm to 2:30 pm 30 minutes right so when you will add this time you will get 4 hours 75 minutes but there is no 75 minutes because 1 hour has 60 minutes so it will be 5 hours yes 5 hours 15 minutes 5 hours 15 minutes i know everybody has written this answer uh, before my explanation only very good 5 hours 15 minutes absolutely correct children okay now see this question your school vacations are starting from 14th april 1996 to 10th of june 1996 now you have to find out the number of days so again we will write here in april how many days are for vacations who will tell me from 14th it is beginning right so we will include 14 right so uh, in april how many days are there who will tell me 30 or 31 write it in the chat box 30 very good so now we will subtract 30 minus 13 because till 13 we are going to school from 14th april we are starting with the vacations so 30 minus 13 is i want to see the answer in the chat box 30 minus 13 children be very nice quick answers okay so april you are having vacations for 17 days then april may is the month then entire may you are on vacations so that means 31 days you are on vacations then we have june so now till 10th june so from 11th you have to join your school so we will include only 10 days and then the total we will count it and quickly tell me what is the what are the number of days add all these days and tell me yes so you are having 58 days as your vacations what a long vacations right near about Three months, my God! But this is not happening because you have already on vacations from last two years. Yes? Can I have a smile? Everybody was studying online. Nobody was going to school. Yes. So now, are you enjoying? You love going to school, or you were happy when you were at home? Going. Yes. Everybody loves to go to school. Okay. now republic day in 1996 fell on friday okay what is republic day who will tell me when is the republic day i have already told you about independence day now you will tell me when is the republic day quickly 26 january lovely so 26 january 1996 was friday so who will tell me uh, when teachers day is there what is the date for the teachers day teachers day when is the teachers yes 5th of september same year so now you have to find out the day here quickly can you do it can you do you can write in the chat box first you can give it a try anybody yes avyan you are raising your hand but i want an answer from your side this will be the last question okay you can take your time find out from january to february you know the number of weeks you know how to do it
you can try at least try it's a long question that's why i'm giving you time okay pranvi has uh, answered monday monday i've got a lot many answers from monday yes yes the correct will be monday only you will add 77777 times or you will add the number of weeks according to the months okay and then you will see when is the 5th september 1998 it is coming on monday so let's um, rajan sir should we wind up or should i take one or two questions more just a minute children let me see okay so let us take okay so yes now world cup cricket begin on the second wednesday on february which was 14th so that means 14th february 14th february was wednesday okay when the world cup started the final was played on third sunday of the next month next month means it was march so in march it was the third sunday the third week so what was the date when final was played so you have to tell me the date when was third march it was sunday or sorry uh, the final was played on the third sunday so you have to tell me the date it was sunday it was it is being tell, told that it is a sunday but you have to tell me the date on which date the world cup was played 14th february was wednesday so when you will add 7 days to it how which will be the date now 7 14 plus 7 you will get 21st february so 21st february is wednesday again you will add 7 days to it you will get 28th february which is again wednesday right now february will ends here now you will add 7 now you will add 7 to it so of course you will get 7th march so 7th march is again wednesday right but you have to count what sundays you have to look for all the sundays so here you can make a quick calendar also you can make sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday now you see that 28 february was wednesday so march begins from thursday So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Then twenty. I'm not able to write it. Okay, it's twenty-five. Okay, now see, I'm not writing twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight because we have got our answer. They are talking about the third Sunday. So, which is the third Sunday? Eighteenth. Which is the third Sunday? Write it in the chat box, children. Yes, it's eighteenth. So, eighteenth of March. The answer is not given here. It's eighteenth of March. Okay, the correct answer is this. Okay. now which of the following is the greatest period of time greatest period of time means the greatest time duration so if we count our time from 7 15 am to 8 10 am 
I think the time is Nitima, uh, yes. yes. I think we yes. can wrap up. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So that's all, children. Let's wind so, up our you. class thank today. You, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the wonderful session. So, students, you can just let us know in the chat box how was the session. Yes, Avyan, uh, you raise your hand. Do you have any doubt? Okay, I've unmuted you. You can speak. Okay, so I was trying to say I didn't understand how you did the question six. Question six. Take it. We will take it again. Don't worry. Okay. And I already answered the question that says the longest period of time is actually B. Okay, yes, I have seen your answers. Very good. You are replying. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I got the responses. So thank you, students. So wonderful, amazing, and everything. So I have shared some links in the chat box. Uh, just do one thing. Copy and save somewhere. Okay, this link will help you to join the live classes. Okay, students. Thank you for a wonderful time. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nitiman, for the wonderful class. Thank you, students, for joining today. And now we will meet you in the live classes. Okay, good night, everyone. Bye.